Major blow for Tottenham. Ange Postacoglu confirms key Spurs star is unlikely to play against Crystal Palace. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. Tottenham star Hung Min Sun is going to miss the game against Crystal Palace this weekend. The South Korean made a scoring return from injury last weekend against West Ham. The Spurs captain had a great game and was involved in two of the three goals they scored in the second half to beat the Hammers 4-1. However, he was said to be suffering from some soreness after the game and was not risked against AZ Alkmaar yesterday. Ange Postacoglu has now given an update on his skipper and unfortunately for Tottenham, it is not good news. The Australian manager confirmed that Sun is unlikely to make it for the Palace game after missing training earlier today as well. Speaking ahead of the Crystal Palace game, Ange said, Last night all good, no issues but obviously a bit of fatigue with some of the boys as they haven't played for a while but all good. Sonny is still not right or feeling 100%. He won't train today and so unlikely for the weekend and we'll see how he is beyond that. Sun's absence will no doubt be a huge blow for Tottenham. Wilson Oderbear or Timo Werner will be the most likely candidates to come in for him. Tottenham play Manchester City in the League Cup round of 16 after this weekend's match at Selhurst Park. That is going to be followed by games against Aston Villa in the league and Galatasaray in the Europa League. The manager will hope that Sun is back in time for these fixtures. Meanwhile, Richarlison made his return from a long-term injury against the Dutch side in the Europa League last night and ended up scoring the winning penalty for Spurs. His return will be welcomed by Ange ahead of a difficult run of fixtures as Spurs aim to move further up in the table. After yet another dismal showing in a Spurs shirt, it appears time is running out for Timo Werner and Ange Postacoglu's latest comments on the player suggest he has reached the end of his patience. Timo Werner was handed another start for Spurs in the Europa League with Hong Min Son not quite at full fitness. But the German winger lasted just 45 minutes before he was replaced by Brennan Johnson as Ange Postacoglu looked to make a breakthrough. In the past, Postacoglu has backed Werner to turn things around after a worrying start to the season, telling Football London that the player would turn things around and is working hard. However, in his press conference after the game against AZ Alkmaar on Thursday night, Postacoglu's tone had shifted and it sounded like he now feels like he cannot rely on Werner to serve the team. Postacoglu said, It's hard to say why he's struggling, but he's definitely down in confidence, you can see that. It's a difficult thing to get out of sometimes. All we can do is support him and get him to a place where he feels more confident. He played a great ball in for Mikey Moore early. He needs to find a way out of it because for us in those positions we need players to make an impact. That final line there says it all. For me, if Werner, or any player for that matter, is not making an impact and not contributing, then there can be very little justification for them to continue playing. There comes a time when the feelings of the player have to be put to one side and it has to be acknowledged that they are simply not doing their job. And sadly, Werner is at that point now the number of chances he has wasted this season is fundamentally opposed to everything Postacoglu is trying to build with this team and this style of play. And now, it's clear that other players can come in and do that job if Werner cannot find a way to fix his problems. Comparing Postacoglu's words about Werner with his reaction to Mikey Moore's performance last night, and the contrast could not be more stark. Postacoglu mentions how exciting Moore was to watch how he has no fear about selecting the youngster and how impressed he is by Moore's ability to handle the pressure on his young shoulders. The fact of the matter is, Moore showed enough in a 20-minute spell in that second half against Alkmaar last night to prove he is more than capable of offering far more in attack than Werner can. Ange Postacoglu says he's happy for James Madison to pass on penalty duties when he feels it's appropriate but has jokingly named the one Spurs player he would rather not take spot kicks. Richarlison scored from the spot to hand Spurs a 1-0 win over AZ Alkmaar in the Europa League on Thursday night, maintaining their perfect start in the competition, but the Brazilian was only given the opportunity to score after a drawn-out incident with Madison. Wearing the captain's armband for the evening, Madison initially took the ball from Richarlison and assumed authority over the penalty only to have a change of heart and hand the ball back. After the match, 
Madison explained that he felt it was more important that Richarlison get his first goal of the season after spending an extended period on the sidelines injured. Initially, we both wanted to take it. I'm a senior player. I was captain today. I was going to take it. But I thought Richarlison has come back from an injury. It's difficult for a striker. A first goal gives confidence, Madison clarified. It was a split-second decision to let him take it. It's leadership. Obviously, I wore the armband. But even if I wasn't the captain, I would still like to think I would make a decision that is best for the team. Hopefully, that gives him a big boost. Naturally, Postacoglu has been quizzed about the incident in the aftermath of Thursday's win. The Australian coach has no problem with players making their own in-game decisions, but did cheekily name goalkeeper Fraser Forster as one he'd rather not be allowed penalty-taking duties. I was happy with the outcome, mate, Postacoglu told reporters. I don't care how they get to it. If the ball's in the back of the net, I'm happy. We do have designated penalty-takers. They're both equally good at taking penalties. We went through a process and they thought it would be beneficial for Richie to take it. But I was comfortable. Maybe if they threw the ball to Fraser, Forster, I'd be a bit more worried about it, though he would think he could do it. It wasn't such a wild decision in that moment. There was some clarity around it. And the important thing was he scored. Spurs and Newcastle set to face disappointment in pursuit of Hayden Hackney. In the competitive realm of football transfers, Premier League clubs Tottenham and Newcastle find themselves in a tricky situation as they attempt to secure Middlesbrough's talented midfielder Hayden Hackney. According to sources from Give Me Sport, both clubs are likely to be disappointed this January as Middlesbrough has made it clear that they are not interested in selling the player mid-season. Hayden Hackney, a 22-year-old defensive midfielder has become a cornerstone of Middlesbrough's squad under manager Michael Carrick, featuring in all 11 of their championship games this season. His performances have not only solidified his place, but also attracted attention from several top-tier teams, including Tottenham and Newcastle. Despite this, Middlesbrough remains firm in their decision to retain him, much to the dismay of the interested parties. Hackney's statistical impact for Middlesbrough is notable, leading the team with an average of 82.8 .8 passes per game and contributing significantly in other areas such as shots, tackles and key passes. His influence on the team's dynamics is undeniable. With goals against teams like Stoke City and West Bromwich Albion, he has also proven his worth in attacking scenarios, enhancing his appeal to the Premier League clubs watching him. With the door firmly shut by Middlesbrough for a winter move, both Tottenham and Newcastle must now redirect their focus towards other potential targets. The necessity for midfield reinforcements remains, and the inability to secure Hackney means both clubs will be scanning the market for players who can fit into Ange Postacoglu's and Eddie Howe's systems respectively. While Tottenham and Newcastle prepare to look elsewhere, there remains the possibility of Hackney's availability in the summer. Premier League heavyweights like Manchester United are also reported to be interested, with Eric Ten Hag looking to bolster his squad further despite recent high-profile signings. This sets the stage for a potential bidding war should Middlesbrough decide to part ways with Hackney in the future. Hackney's current form and stats make him an enticing prospect, and his potential addition to Tottenham could have been a significant boost. Yet, the reality of transfer dealings often involves such setbacks. The club's focus must now shift to finding other talents who can contribute similarly, ensuring the team remains competitive on all fronts. While it's a setback to miss out on Hackney, the club's proactive scouting and interest in such promising talents are positive signs. The fans will be hoping that the scouting network, under the guidance of Postacoglu, can uncover more gems capable of helping the team achieve its ambitions. Ultimately, while the frustration is palpable, the faith in the club's management to navigate this challenge remains strong. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today's community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs.